she's not part of the murder then because 20 years no she got like second degree murder like she was a part she hit her too so the male killed her too yeah okay why did he do that sentence yeah well he they were drinking and she said that like he when he drank got like really angry and stuff like that so he got life in prison okay so that's good that's wild man yeah so many lives get lost down the bottom bottle it's true brutal I got my socks and my slippers. Ooh, I'm really good. cozied up. Looking I'm, good. I got a lot of compliments on this sweater today. Well, really I get it. Sweater. Yeah, it's freaking badass. That's badass. That's badass. That sweater's badass. I love that Thank video you. so much. I do oh, too. Yeah. That kit just being like, that's badass. That's badass. badass. What is this he talking about? Wide? His little car? Yeah. His little double, double wide. wide. That's <laughs> badass. That's badass. <laughs> Drive the chickens around on that. That's badass. <laughs> I got a badass side by side. Badass, huh? Badass, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's so badass and stuff. It's the cutest thing. Oh, God, it's so good. I don't even know how old he is. Doesn't but matter. He's just like a little, little so guy. cute. He's great. Yeah. yeah. It's from Faust. Thick. <laughs> from Faust. How are you guys? How was your day? It was good. Yeah. yeah. What a day. And rolling. Yeah. What a day. What a wonderful day. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? I was good. Work was busy. It's uh it's Friday for us. So that's awesome. Mm-hmm. It's time for the freaking weekend. <laughs> Let's it's, go. It's Sunday. Do it. you. <laughs> it's Sunday for you guys, but <laughs> it's Friday for us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a good day. I'm excited to have the weekend. Yeah. I'm excited to chill. Watch yeah. more football. Watch more our football. Falcons win again, hopefully. Mm. Never go. enough football. It's yeah. true. Mm-hmm. It's true. We're playing the uh, the Cowboys this weekend. Or the Cowgirls, excuse me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. We're already halfway through football season, like regular football season. Because mm-hmm. yeah. there's an extra game, right? So I think there's 18 weeks, 17 yeah. games. Each yeah. team gets a bye. Well, before it was 17 weeks. 16 games. Yeah. <laughs> Give me we some. are. You guys are doing so some. good. They are mathletes. A couple of mathletes. Pretty Pretty a couple of mathletes. You, what are yeah. you going to do? I know. I learn so much <laughs> every day. Yeah. If you need any help with math homework. I actually read like not a ask. super crazy story today. Okay. Okay. So I think just because we're in a throuple... Like that just like pops into my news feed is throuple stuff. So Algorithm. There was a story. I think they put it on like Dateline a couple <laughs> weeks ago, and it was like throuple murder. Ooh. Oh gosh! I know. I know. So is this is a real story. This is a real story. Where okay. are you going so, with this? <laughs> this guy and this girl were friends in high school. Okay. They moved apart from each other, and then the girl reconnected with him, but he was in a relationship with another woman. Okay. And she was telling him, like, break up with that other woman. Like, let's be together. That was, like, kind of the situation. Okay. Doesn't mm. sound good from Doesn't the start. Doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound good. Yeah. But then the woman that was with him at the time suggested, why don't we all just, like, be in a relationship together? Nice. All right. See, so she, she saw a problem she, she was, and was like, she, I have an idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Instead of outing me, mm-hmm. I'm on the throne. Okay. Like, let's we do it together. Have, yeah. yeah. Okay. So... I guess it was like a couple weeks. They were like, man, maybe not, maybe not, crickets. And then they decided to do it. Okay. So they're all in a relationship. The story I read, it's like you don't really get super fine details about like the inner workings of their relationship. But Mm. it just said that they went on like a trip together to Texas or something. They were like partying. Her sister said that like she knew that like a bunch of jealousy started arising like within the relationship. Sorry, which sister? The new the s- person? No, the you- sister of the deceased, <laughs> unfortunately. Not like I don't sister know wife which sister. Person this is. What do you I mean? mean? You haven't told us which Who's one has been deceased? deceased. Oh. So I don't know if oh. this is the oh. existing girlfriend or I don't know no, if this is the so new new. The new girl actually is the one that does okay. is deceased. So there's jealousy. So oh. the so hold on. Whoa. Yeah, this just took a turn. I so, was not expecting so that. So dude was dating a chick in high school for whatever reason didn't work out. Didn't work out. Didn't work out. Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> he moves on, she moves on. 
Mm-hmm. He starts dating another person. Correct. This person from the past Comes is like, back. hey, you should leave that person. That person. And then that person was like, hey, we should all be together. That's correct. Okay. Who, whose sister? The sister of the deceased girl. The so new, well, the we high don't school know the person. I know. So yet. the new girl is the deceased girl. Okay. So they all go to a hotel. And they're like partying all weekend, I guess. The new girl that used to be the old girl. The high school. Because yes. she's not like new. Yes, <laughs> yeah. the high school girl. She's in high school? No, she's no. not in high school. <laughs> Whoa. That's when they were together. <laughs> this would have taken the first yeah. extra gotcha. picture. Okay. Yeah. So they have this like weekend together. Mm-hmm. And. It's a fucking murder thing. I'm joking about it. Yeah, yeah maybe like. R.I.P. My bad. Have a little class. I'm trying to listen, but I'm just, tr- I don't understand the facts. Okay, well, let well, her listen, like give I us said, the, the story was a little spotty. Okay. So they spend the weekend at this hotel. There's, like, pictures of them, like, going into liquor stores and, like, buying really large bottles of booze, I guess, which is already, like, if you're experiencing trouble in your relationship, I think you mm. add in alcohol and shit's going to get worse. Yeah. Normally. I mean, alcohol things with come out. any problem when you add it to the mix, yeah. it doesn't normally come out of like, oh, things got so much better. Yeah. Maybe in the moment for that night you have fun. Right. But typically it doesn't, it's not a good yeah. solution. Yeah. What is that saying in, in vino veritas? In wine, there's truth. Look at you. Not You're just on wine. the other end of that spectrum. Wow. Okay. What? What? <laughs> what I'm spectrum? Saying wi- like alcohol isn't a good solution. You're saying, You're saying wine it is. is. Truth. That doesn't mean that it's good because oh. sometimes people are like pushing feelings down and mm-hmm. then they have alcohol and it brings all this out. It's not necessarily in a positive, good way. Yeah, it could come sometimes out. Sometimes it like makes them explode because they've just been like suppressing. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, maybe that's what happened here. All right. Okay, continue. So anyways, yeah, sorry, sorry. Sh- it, this is on me. I got to live with it. A body's found, like a very badly beaten body. Ooh. Beaten? Yeah, like severely, like it looked like they so were... So active rage. Yeah, like it was very bad. Like even the person that found the body was like held back tears in the interview. Like it was that bad. Whoa. And they were like an investigator or something. And then the hotel room that they're in, they discover, they go inside and it's like covered in blood. Oh my gosh. Like it's like blood is everywhere. Excuse me. It seemed like they tried to like clean it up, but they shined the blue light in the bathroom and it was like everything. Semen everywhere. No, babe. That's no. normally what happens. I've seen CSI. No, babe. It's not semen. It's blood. Babe. Get it together. <laughs> That's crazy. That yeah. crazy. That's so really disturbing. They put two and two together. Like this body was found. This Wait, is, what the hotel's they? very close. They uh-huh. shine like a blue light and it'll show. Like we're in. If you cleaned off blood. Yeah. Mm Because obviously if the blood's there. They don't need need to shine a light. Right. Because it's right there in front of their face. Yeah. Yeah. So people try to clean up the Mm -hmm. crime scene. So the two people get arrested pretty quickly. The woman and the man. Yeah. Sure. Um, I guess it took like four years or something until like this year for them to face trial, which is why I think they released the story. The woman actually ended up being a witness against... The guy. It was the guy? Whoa, this took a turn of events. I definitely thought it was the other chick. I did too. So but she, I guess she sorry. said that she left the hotel room and came back. And when she came back, he was like beating her up in the bathroom. And that she like came in and like stood between them. And then finally it stopped and they all just went to bed. After he just beat the shit yeah. out of her? Yeah, so this is what she said. And that, Allegedly? Yeah. And then no. they woke up in the morning and she was deceased. So that's her story. I think it sounds like... Mm, it sounds like... Yeah. 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 I'm going to go right. with no. Um, and like... What this, did the guy say? I mean, I think he put it on her. She put it on him. Gotcha. You know what I mean? But the sister who interviewed... The sister of the deceased said like there was like a lot of jealousy in the relationship. I mean, think about how it came together. Yeah. Like that the one girl wanted them split up. Well, the deceased one wanted them split up. Yeah. Right. So that's what's interesting is the other female Mm -hmm. wanted this to come together. You would think that it would be the girl who wanted this split up that I didn't realize she would be the deceased. Or is it the one woman just wanted it to come together so bad because she didn't want to lose him? That's, That's what I was jokingly saying was like her solution was instead of me losing this to 
And I his think old high school that's crush. kind of what the story made it sound like is then there was the jealousy between the two women. And she said the two women would like fight all of the time. So that was not good. Jealousy is hard. Jealousy is a rough one. Like that's an extreme version of it. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Very extreme and very <laughs> We're sad. We're starting this off really dark. I'm really sorry. Dark. <laughs> um, but We're just I getting think started. <laughs> it's like a super valid number one topic in this kind of relationship well yeah it's a very natural human emotion Mm -hmm. and like we are so conditioned to be in monogamous relationships whether that's like I don't know a lot of people make arguments that it's not how we are actually supposed to live and you know there's so many different views on it. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's why people end up cheating and, you know, marriages end in divorce, all of this stuff. What do you think? (laughs) Do you think that we're not born to be monogamous? I don't know. I think that it's, I honestly think it's dependent on the person. I don't think it's just a human thing of like, we're meant to be monogamous or not. I think it's I agree individually, like some people, they find their person and they just click and it's the two of them are fantastic. Yeah. And like, then there's us who the three of us click and we're fantastic. Right. Like all together, this works. And, you know, we have been very fortunate to not experience jealousy in the way that so many people do. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, that's not saying that we didn't have to work through it or just like combat it initially. Like, There's so many things that lead to jealousy. Mm -hmm. Like there's insecurities, which we've discussed. Mm -hmm. There's feelings of, you know, maybe being left out or imbalance in the relationship. If Mm -hmm. you're not getting enough attention from one partner and they're giving a ton to the other, there's, you know, as a couple going into a relationship, there's the fear of, you know, kind of being left behind or your partner losing someone. Yeah. Losing someone. So there's so many things that I think can lead to jealousy But in our case, we just were so open and transparent about our feelings from the beginning. that Our feelings. Feelings. (laughs) Let's talk about our feelings. Yeah. And we just talked about them. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Yeah. No, we were. We just like laid it on the table. I don't feel like you really experienced jealousy in the beginning. Did you? No, no. I mean, when Alana first told me that she was bi-curious, sure, there was like a thought that came up into my mind of like, are you just, is there an ulterior motive? Like, Mm -hmm. do you want to like not be in this relationship and you're looking for a different way to get out out of it? Yeah. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, But I I think it kind of goes back to us and our own like, the way we look at things in our like worldview or philosophy, whatever you want to call it, we all have had multiple. Ex- <coughs> Whoa. We have That's because the mustache. It is because the mustache. Oh yeah. You're saying, this is my voice. I always talk like this. <laughs> the the conversation that we've had multiple times was around fear. Like when I first started dating mm-hmm. you, that was like a big topic of we don't want to let our fears control our life. Because I, for a long part of my life, I, I, I would, I identified as like a coward. I had this like inner bitch is what I call it. And I got it from David Goggins of like, there's a scared like child in me that doesn't want to take certain chances. There, mm-hmm. That doesn't want to do things. And I've learned that whenever this feeling and emotion thought comes up that my like inner bitch is getting too loud sends a a red flag to me of Mm -hmm. like, okay, first of all, is anyone that I'm with or my friends or family, people I care about and myself, or am I in physical danger right now? Mm -hmm. Or are we about to be put in a situation for physical danger? Because fear can be helpful to keep you alive. Yeah, of course. Like, hey, there's a fucking lion outside. Shut the door. You know what I mean? Yeah. Very likely. <laughs> that happens. It does. All right? yeah. It's very likely. It happens. Uh-huh. Speaking mm-hmm. of Texas, people be losing tigers and shit <laughs> in Texas. It's it's true. Okay. It's, All right. It's pretty wild. But it because I think we all view that the same way of fear, whenever we get that feeling, we talk about it. Mm-hmm. Right? It's like, okay, I'm feeling this. This is an overwhelming sensation, jealousy, um, 
inadequacy, whatever you want, Mm -hmm. it all kind of roots back to fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think if you recognize like, okay, I'm not in any physical danger. I'm safe right now. This is just my thoughts and my emotions coming out right now in an Mm -hmm. overwhelming way. Mm -hmm. Or are you okay? Are you? And once you realize, okay, we're all good. Mm -hmm. Nobody's hurt. You can kind of assess the situation and view it from a different point of view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that definitely helps with your reaction. So that's the thing. And processing what you're feeling. Yeah. Because I think many people in this type of relationship are going to have jealousy, that feeling come up. I think it's natural. You're going to have it come up. But if you can do that and just kind of take it back to the root of what it is and it does come down to just fear, Mm -hmm. like that it does make it easier to process it that way. I mean, ultimately, yeah, no matter what it is, like fear of being left out, fear of not being good enough, fear of um, losing your partner, like Mm -hmm. you said, like it all really is. Or change in the relationship. Perhaps you love the relationship and you're afraid the dynamic is going to change. And now what you loved about the relationship is now going to be tainted or less than, right? All these narratives can creep in, which kind of sum up what jealousy is. It can Mm -hmm. have all these different forms. But ultimately, at the root of things, it's fear. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and I don't think uh, another thing, just sorry, one last, I don't know, I'm fucking motor mouth today. No, keep going. Is we all view ourselves as individuals on our own life path who are choosing to be together because we have fun, we laugh, we love each other, we want to be together. But none of us are possessive of like your mind, mm-hmm. your mind, or like, a lot, and, and you have this like distorted view of another human being as mm-hmm. like yours, mm-hmm. like it's like it's a like an item. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think along those lines, too, if you can look at love as being infinite rather than there being some like cap to it, I think that's really helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Because with, you know, being raised with monogamy being all I saw, it's like, yeah, like you are responsible for my love tank and that's it. Like you're my one person, Mm -hmm. but like realizing like, Oh no, like I feel my own love tank. Actually I'm responsible for it, but y'all could give me an oil change if you want. Dang. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. But my car is dirty and it needs washing. You said you love me. I mean, talk is cheap, fool. (laughs) Um, I think that that's helpful. Sure. To think of it that way. And I think Mm -hmm. that'll help too with compersion. Like if you think about it that way, because I think people can struggle seeing their partner being happy with someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I think that can feel weird at first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't experience it as much because I was coming into an existing relationship. So it was kind of like that's all I knew you guys as at first. But Mm -hmm. me coming in and then you guys, like you seeing me and Kevin and seeing us Mm -hmm. experience like joy and love together. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, you seeing that as well. Like, I think it's important to how you view that. Yeah, it's and definitely. You, I'm sorry, I didn't no, mean to cut you don't. off. It's just, it's something that you have to reframe how you view it. Mm-hmm. Because, like, as we mentioned, the societal norm is monogamy and not to see your partner with someone else. And so to experience, that for the first time it is like it takes you back a little bit where you're like okay so that's what that's Whoa, like yeah but it's like I'm also in a relationship with you yeah and I know the love that you have I know the love that you have because I get to experience that and I love both of you so seeing that shared between the two of you like I got to learn and recognize how beautiful that was and got to experience compersion yeah which is pretty and cool. like I, you know, because we do enjoy spending time, the three of us, Mm -hmm. I get to see you two together and your dynamic. And it is really cool to watch. And it's fun for me because you two will bounce off each other. Like your comedy works so well. And I feel like I'm watching a TV show sometimes. (laughs) And nice. Nice. (laughs) Nailed it. Yeah, you guys are doing great. Thanks, babes. You're doing so great. Too. Thank you for keeping me entertained. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. I have a question for you both. For you both. For you both. For the two of you. <laughs> this mustache yes. is taking over his life. <laughs> I go to him and I say, I'm in the comment toy. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
the question is, when we first dated, one of the things that I thought was important was to have you take a love language test as well yeah. as a personality test. I know, psychopath. But <laughs> in my mind, I just don't think that's a very common thing to do, especially early on it's in the date. It's not, but I respect it. And I think every relationship should do it. Should do it. Yeah. It's the same with you. When we first started dating, I asked you to take the same tests. Well, and I had no idea what that even was. And so mm-hmm. once you take, like, maybe explain what love languages are, because not everyone has done that. Sure. So essentially, the love language test is a test that allows you to figure out what types. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. What uh, have I done? What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's five. There's five different languages types of, of love. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And so it kind of. In taking this test and answering questions, you're able to distinguish what type of love you... Percentages. Yeah, there, it does percentages, mm-hmm. um, but just what type of love you desire. What you like. Or also, sometimes, like, I know the test, I think, is how, like, the kind of love that you like to receive, mm-hmm. but I do also think there's love languages for how you show love. So, for example... Like your love languages are. I mean, all of ours are the same in the same, same order. Same order. Percentages, our percentages vary, but they're in the same. Mm-hmm. So levels. number one is quality time. Yeah, quality Sorry, time. I took the words right out your mouth. You were gonna say it. I know. And then <laughs> yeah. number two is physical touch. Oh yeah. Number Which those are like way high. Like those yeah. are large percentages. Mm-hmm. So the other ones, because a lot of people, it's like they stick to just one. Mm-hmm. They're like, this is my one. Love language. We we typically will talk about no, the I'm order. Bilingual. <laughs> well, love. we just oh. a lot of times we talk about the order of ours, and everyone's like, "You you said all of them." And yeah. It's like, well, no, that's just how they are because quality time is like we all need that and crave that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as well as like physical, physical touch. touch is very close for all of us. And yeah, it's like it's is... like a forty to like thirty eight like percentage difference. Mm-hmm. They're really mm-hmm. close. Something like that as an example. Yeah. What's the next one? The next one is words of affirmation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then acts of service, then gifts. Then gifts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's the five that exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which it is just like a really cool thing to yeah, learn about yourself and be like, oh yeah, that actually makes sense. Mm-hmm. And then it does really help like by you having us take those tests, then you know how to kind of like Give your partners what they need. Mm-hmm. Right. And check your, like, compatibility in a way, too. Yeah, but, yeah. like, for me, I mean, for all of us, gifts are on the lowest of the that the, the five, the spectrum, yeah. whatever it is. But if yours was gifts number one and I was touching you a lot and wanting to spend quality time or doing things like, like, don't, like you said, getting your oil change me. or, you know, yeah. washing your car, yeah. you might be like, this guy doesn't even care about me because yeah. what's important to you is gifts. Yeah, or not that not, one not that is better than the other. It's just how you love him. Were you were you talking about a real oil change? I actually wasn't. No. I thought that yeah, but he mixed it in. <laughs> it's wild. I was like, wait, would that really be nice? <laughs> would you like that? I can do that for you. You don't know how to change my oil. You I'm know not, you can't just I'm put not... on overalls <laughs> and then go around changing people's oil. Okay, Honestly. I think that's exactly how it's done. <laughs> I mean, if you can figure it out, actually, that would be really helpful. I would take it somewhere. I'm not going to change your oil. Listen, I'm going to take care of my oil change. Okay. That's good. But yeah, like you're (laughs) saying, it's great to know what pleases your partners. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just easier to like cohabitate. It's easier to Mm -hmm. like understand. I mean, it's all about understanding. And then once you have that understanding, acting on it. Mm -hmm. Because understanding one thing is like, if I know your top thing is you know, acts of service and I don't get off my ass because I'm doing my thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, I have that understanding, but I'm not acting on it. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like a jerk move. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the love language test, I highly recommend to everybody to take because Mm -hmm. it just is helpful information. Mm -hmm. But the personality test is also a very important thing to understand your partners of like the style of communication, how you deal with confrontations you know, mm-hmm. all these things, some people have been married 20 plus years and you hang out with them. You're like, these people hate each other yeah. and they haven't mm-hmm. figured it out. 
they're just together because it's easier to be together. Yeah. They've invested so much time. Mm -hmm. Fill in the blank. I feel like why not use these tools if you have them to like try to understand your partner better? Because a lot of times it's hard to express, like explain yourself and what you need. Mm -hmm. But there are ways and tricks and tools to like get to it. And I think you said it well with tools because it isn't a solution. Taking these tests isn't going to fix your marriage, your relationship, solve your problems. There are tools to help you do that, Mm -hmm. but you have to do that. Yeah. And taking the test and understanding your partners as as well as your own is the first step. Yeah. Well, yeah. Even with like the personality test, like yours is the debater. Yeah. And so (laughs) the master debater. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and knowing that and being able to read up on that personality and like, you know, we've all taken it and read our own personality so we can kind of confirm in a way of like, oh yeah, that's how I am. Cause if it didn't match and you're like, I don't know, not quite. It's like, okay, well there's still some things. Maybe I won't fully lean into this. But and it changes as like you take it different times, yeah, like yeah, different yeah. parts of your life, like mm-hmm. experience, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But with yours being the debater and you feel very like, connect like connected with that yeah, or resonates. aligned yeah. yeah um it does help to give understanding as to how you operate mm-hmm. and i think that's really beneficial for a relationship too well and i think with our personality test like i don't know if it was yours too but i know with mine like it said like debating i don't like that <laughs> i don't like that. i don't, don't like, like it i don't like this one <laughs> so to big. like actually read that see it on paper and be like oh this isn't just that like we don't get each other it's just like these things don't line up for us so now Mm -hmm. we know if you feel like debating i'm not your gal (laughs) (laughs) sometimes you are you try (laughs) you try and i'm like we're not doing this we're not doing this (laughs) well and and that's that's actually a great example early on in our relationship you thought i was super confrontational and wanting to you're like, why are you even why wanting to fight with time? him? Why do you want to argue? <laughs> and I'm like, I like with the type of person I am and what I enjoy, mm-hmm. I don't even agree with certain sides that I'll play. Yeah. I'll just want to oh, see reactions and mm-hmm. kind of do mental gymnastics with myself it and yours. Me crazy. <laughs> to see like after at the end of the conversation, do you still believe what you believed? But I think do once I, we figured know? it out, yeah. Now we like know how to deal with it. Yeah. Exactly. Where like it doesn't turn into a fight now because I'm like, oh, you're trying to debate me. Mm-hmm. I'm not a master debater. <laughs> yeah. And, and just for fun, like <laughs> not even that I agree or align with whatever I was. No, I know you're just into it, and yeah. I respect that, and that's so cool. And I hope you find someone <laughs> who really likes that too. <laughs> if anyone like, takes personality tests, is patronizing me right now. It's also not me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I. Uh, I put up with, not put up with it, but <laughs> no, but like I just you handle kind of it better than I do for go sure. On, go on with it a little bit more. Yeah. But I also so. don't like debating. Like in high school, when we had to do debates in class. I was like, please, no. Yeah. I think that you are, you handle it much better than me. Like I am a little too confrontational <laughs> as a human that like it doesn't work well with me. Mm-hmm. You're good at it now. No, you're good at it now. We've had a lot of good you conversations. Debate this? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, seriously though, I like you said, I totally suggest doing the love language test mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, and then the personality test is just cool. We'll put the links in the in the bio. little thing below. Yeah, the little so bio. You can see it. Is that what it's called on here? I don't know. Maybe. Sure, it could be your bio. It, it's a it's blessing not- on one end that we didn't really experience too much jealousy mm-hmm. in our relationship, like a big blessing because mm-hmm. things went relatively smooth mm-hmm. because we didn't experience it. But at the same time, I do feel a little bad that we get so many comments, so many messages, that want so help many with that. requests of like, hey, I'm experiencing jealousy. What did you guys do? Mm-hmm. And because we didn't experience it throughout the relationship, it is hard to kind of talk about it. Advise on it. Yeah, but I do think the reason why we is the didn't foundation. Is the foundation. Yeah. It's the understanding of each other. It's the recognition of this is stemming from fear and what is the root cause of this. Mm-hmm. And knowing like, okay, I don't want to lose my partner. Fair. But you were never mine to, like, keep. You're choosing to be with me. Mm -hmm. It's not me holding you hostage. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, 
who's it like the beast from Beauty and the Beast? You yeah. Know? Well, yeah. Oh, am I the beast? <laughs> Who is this? The beast? Get out. <laughs> um, it's yeah. forbidden. <laughs> that and then a lot ex- of brain farts expressing tonight. what you're feeling when it's happening. That is like the. Yeah, not I was trying to say that. that without saying communicate. Uh, okay. But I said it. You did an excellent like, job. That, keyword. I think, makes jealousy the absolute worst, is holding on to it and being like, you, I can solve this on my own. Like, you don't have to be fucking Wonder Woman or Superman mm-hmm. or Spider-Man or whoever that is. Like, okay. if you're feeling something, your partners are supposed to be there to love and support you. As long as you're yeah. not putting it on them. Yeah. But you're just an important... saying, I'm feeling like this. It's not <laughs> you're making me feel like this. Yes. Like that shit helps so much just yeah. to do that. Be like, okay, I just need to let this out. Like, will you guys just listen to me? Mm-hmm. And what you just said there was really important for me is like, hey, I need to I need to let this out. Mm-hmm. Just listen. Because sometimes before you would do that, I would go into problem solving mode. Right. And be like, oh, let's do this. And you're like, I don't need you <laughs> to tell me what just to do. Don't <laughs> okay. yeah. That's that man brain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I do, I do agree with that. But if you guys have like any stories about jealousy or maybe like more in depth things that you guys want to reach out and even tell us about, like or other advice for those, like if yeah. you were able to overcome that, because for us, since we didn't go through it, mm-hmm. it's hard to give advice. But we kind of shared what we did to mitigate it, mitigate it, mm-hmm. or avoid it becoming a thing. Like you said, right. of just talking about it because. Yes, you like each of us as individuals think like, oh, I can I can figure this out. I can work through it. But what you don't know what's happening is you're probably forming some resentment. Right. 100%. And you don't want to do that because jealousy is resentment. It's like kind of misunderstanding sometimes. Yeah. Um, but just as a whole, like having a strong foundation, our relationship, we felt really secure and in a good spot going into this. So that I think a lot of times if someone's going in rocky you're probably going to experience some jealousy Mm -hmm. as partners creating a safe, supportive space and allowing each other to talk and to share those feelings. And then, you know, if you're not like constantly talking, maybe setting up a time or doing regular check-ins, which we do often, Mm -hmm. even now we do check-ins like every couple of weeks or a month. Mm -hmm. And we say like, okay, How are you feeling in the relationship? Is there anything going on that you haven't felt that you've been able to talk about and want to share that? And that really sets the stage in that safe space to be like, you know what? I like was trying to process this and I've been thinking about it Mm -hmm. and here it is. And kind of laying it on your partners to be like, this is where I'm at. And, you know, I'm sorry that I've been holding this in if you have been. And just being like, okay, now we can work through that all together. Well, and sometimes just speaking it, Mm -hmm. sometimes that's enough. Sometimes like saying it out loud and like saying it to the people that like it's involved with, like it helps you just work through it, just letting it out of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is it like your own worst enemy lives between your ears? That's right. It's like whatever's going on up here, Mm -hmm. we create these narratives that aren't always true, yeah. but then you just feed it by holding it in. Don't feed it. If you let it out and then you can hear like, oh no, this is the case. Or like, we love you. And like, it can really, yeah, it can just, shrink that monster just, down. Let it go guys. Just let it go. The let last point go. I do want to make on this is not everybody I think would do well in a polyamorous relationship. And I think that's okay. It, Exactly. Yeah. Like, I think you have to, everybody, I think, even if you're not in a relationship, should know who you are. Mm -hmm. Know, know, know you, Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Don't just go through life doing what you're told, Mm -hmm. you know? And if it's something that you're like, you know, I just, this is not something I'm into. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, that's totally valid. That's, we never came online to tell everybody polyamory is the way to go yeah Yeah. polyamory is the best way like our whole point about coming on here is that love can take different forms that you might not have knew was possible Mm -hmm. right because none of us thought this kind of relationship was real or possible 
and that we would experience this amount of love together. Mm -hmm. But that that's for our unique situation. We've also discussed like in the future, if this didn't work out for whatever reason, we might not be in another yeah, I mean, polyamorous never be relationship. In this kind of relationship again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Same. So if if your partner is looking and asking or bringing it up like, hey, and you you know yourself, you've kind of written down pros and cons or, hey, I'm feeling this. Why is this feeling coming up? Okay, where do you think that's coming from? Or, you know, and you just start going through that process and asking yourself the questions and you're like, it's just not for me. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But don't try and force yourself into a situation because it's not just yourself that you're impacting. It's potentially two, three, four, however, whatever the setup that you're in, mm -hmm. it'll impact all the lives involved, you know? Yeah. So, well, and I think that is something that like some people in this kind of relationship do push in a way that like you're more woke if you're able to do this or I disagree with you're that, yeah. more advanced if you can do something like that. And I don't agree with that either. I think it's, it's different courses for different horses, different you know? strokes for different folks. That's a good way do you have one? Do. No, <laughs> different things for, for different, different human beings. Ah, ah. she was going to say that. I know yeah. she was, but I was yeah. just trying to, Help yeah. Thank Help. you. Just yeah, it, it was yeah. it was gonna come up. Yeah, it was yeah. gonna get Absolutely. there. I believe it. Absolutely. So wait, what happened with that story? Okay, so she got twenty years in prison. Okay. And Did she confess? Yes. Yeah, so she admitted her part in it, and then like pretty much was the witness for the case and what happened. So they, she's not part of the murder then, because mm -hmm. twenty years. No, she From, got like second degree murder. Like she was a part of she hit her too. So the Only male killed years. her too? Yeah. Uh, okay. Why did What's he do his that? sentence? Yeah. Well, he they were drinking and she said that like he when he drank got like really angry and stuff like that. So he got life in prison. Okay. So that's good. That's wild, man. Yeah. So many lives get lost sense. down the bottom of the bottle. It's that's true. brutal. It's true. I mean you Be can't careful out there. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you can't put murder on alcohol like that was within you to do that i've i've a lot has been drunk and she ain't killed nobody <laughs> i'm like that was within you it's pretty wild. i don't i'm not i'm not saying alcohol is like you know it's great it, it does ruin alcohol. lives yeah. but this life is gone yeah. for that person yeah and that's just crazy yeah it's wild it's wild and that's kind of an example, an extreme example of it seemed like that woman that was already with the guy put herself in that relationship for the wrong reasons. Yeah. And shit hit the fan. So yeah. really think it through. Yeah. <laughs> On another subject. <laughs> Jesus Christ. On another <laughs> subject. Happy Movember. You. Okay, okay, I wasn't sure if we were going to discuss it or not. Oh, we have to. Do I mean, we? have you seen him? I've seen him. <laughs> Can everyone please, please see take a stash? good look at the mustache? The mustache. This yeah. is day yes. one. This is day one. Mm -hmm. So ju just um, to be completely transparent, uh, last month I found out some medical news. Um, I had a biopsy done and uh, awaiting the results. So we'll just keep it there for now until I know the results because I don't want to preemptively, yeah, yeah, you know, I understand. say that I have something until the results come back. Yes. But the whole idea of Movember, No Shave Movember, is to promote men's health and men's health awareness. So mm -hmm. getting checked. It is very common for most men that they don't go get annual checkups. They don't go do, you know, a lot of scans, and, scans and, yeah. you know, just mm -hmm. looking out. Yeah. And I did. And they found some. Maybe something. some maybes. Yeah. Maybe not. Um, maybe not. And yeah. So just going to just going to rock this stash. I've rock never this. really yeah. done it. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. I can't grow facial hair. Except oh, you're doing I a great job so far. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll it see looks how good. It, it goes with up. the hair. It does. I think you look very handsome. Very handsome. So anyone interested, mm -hmm. just Google Movember. 
the F is this guy doing growing that lip for, dude? <laughs> it's for a good cause and it promotes awareness. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks All for the men for sure. Go take take care of yourself. Yeah, everybody you know? take care of yourself. That's yeah, right. emotionally, physically. Be good. Spiritually. Be good to yourself. Yeah. yeah exactly. Let's go take care of ourselves by making dinner. Let's get some Shall we? Okay. Let's All do right. it. Let's Lights do out, it. campers. Bye, guys. Lights out. Lights out. Have a good night. Bye.